the second part of uh, brihat parashar hora shastra which is attributed to parashar on the request of maitre when maitre have been saying that uh, parashar ji people will not be able to calculate the speed of planet which is very minute will not be able to take into consideration all these effects that you have told regarding predictions because in kali yuga the longevity of the people will be less their intellect will also be shrouded by the clouds of ignorance so what should they do parasha tells that maitre you are right keeping in mind all these principles that i have told you in the part 1 that belongs to different sages these different sages are sages such as brahma brahaspati and all of that he have mentioned the names this is a very clear indication that first part of bphs is a compilation second part of bphs is the original contribution of parashar parashar himself says that maitre you are right even brahaspati who is considered the epitome of knowledge cannot predict accurately and confidently keeping in mind all these diverse opinions so i am going to tell you henceforth i am going to tell you techniques using which one can do prediction simply so they when they are using this principle they don't have to keep in mind what is taught earlier application of this principle is pretty simple and whatever have been told before whatever other sages have told my system is not contradictory to them it is a new system but it is non contradictory and it predicts better if parashar was here today people will say him oh ignorant ego is staying wow how he is saying our great sages their system don't work even brahaspati cannot predict parashar is so ignorant this and that it is good good to the good to the parashar that he is not in kali yuga he have told the trait of kali yuga all himself no so parashar is telling that parashar is very confident parashar is very confident that using my system that i am telling you predictions don't fail you use only the principles that i am going to tell you before don't use what is told before so you only use the system that i am going to tell you after this don't use the system that is told before and even after that you will come to correct predictions that is without any doubt tried and tested by me parashar is very 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 confident but unfortunately today when we use the things given by parashar we are bound to mix it with the fundas formulas that is told earlier in part 1 we mix the part 1 bphs and part 2 bphs and this is extremely against what parashar is trying to do so all the hard work of parashar is gone since i read bphs first for, for the first time 10 11 years ago this have been haunting my mind that what we have done with the confidence of parashar parashar can be taken as our great grandfather we are all the children of sages only so what we have done with it so there was a you know there is a motivation the correct word will be there was a motivation to reinstall the faith in the words of parashar delving deeper into what parashar have told and to do this one of the prime contributions original invention research is a wrong word original invention of parashar is sudarshan chakra right there are some problems with sudarshan chakra that may come there sudarshan chakra i think all of you know about it is one house activates per year so 12 how the 12 houses of the horoscope activates for the 12 years then for 13th year the ascendant will activate again so all the 12 houses will get activated again 13 to 24 then in the 25th year ascendant will activate again again and again and again and again it will keep on activating right this is the basic concept now there are some issues into it like if the 12th house is getting activated at the age of 12 at the age of 24 and at the age of 36 how do you differentiate between the result there are few very major questions that is to be answered because parashar is very clear don't use what is told earlier dasha is told earlier 
सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग सुदर्शन चक्र की दशा यू आर नॉट बींग ट्रू टू दर्ड्स ऑफ पर आशर राइट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्पज आई हैव थॉट ओवर अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग पर आशर देर इज वन मेजर थिंग दैट इज देयर इन सुदर्शन चक्र यू मे नो दैट देर आर थ्री हॉरोस्कोप दैट आर मेड टूगेदर इन अ सर्कुलर फॉर्मेट Right, so if you go to this famous Vedic astrology software that is Jagannath Pura, it is made this way. This is Sudarshan Chakra. Okay, inside green circle you see this is the natal chart. Outside circle you see that is the sun chart, and the external most circle that is orange, what whatever color it is, this external most circle is sun chart. Right, so this is Lagna chart. Sun chart, Moon chart. These are the three charts. Now, in these three charts, generally, when we do Sudarshan, we analyze the house from all the three perspectives. It is understood that Parashar is telling you to analyze a house from Sun also, Moon also, Lagna also. So say you want to analyze the tenth house, you will analyze it from sun, moon, and lagna all three. Now this rather adds to confusion, is what I have found. This rather adds to confusion rather than solving the problem. You say one planet is situated in tenth house, one planet is aspecting tenth house, two planets. Now this two planet from moon also, this two planet from sun also. So two from lagna, two from sun, two from moon, six planets in total. Now, when you consider all these six planets, how will you predict result? If you are about to decide the profession, how will you do that? So there is one way that will tell you: take the strongest planet. Consider all these six planets. Take the strongest one, and that is the profession giver, which is true also. Which is true also. It works in the eighty percent of the cases. It will work, right? But eighty percent, as someone who is into astrology, the motivation. My motivation is to increase the accuracy percentage more and more. Make it as accurate as I can make based on my humble capacity of thinking, clouded intelligence of Kali Yuga and all of that and everything. So based on that, I have thought of something. Thought of something which I refer as tripaap lagni, right? Rather, this should be tritaap lagni, but tripaap lagni is what I have found it to be. I have named it. Now the point is why I have made it tripaap lagni. This is a basic point. What is the meaning of tripaap? This defines, according to my understanding, what should be. the differentiation between lagna moon and sun because of course there have to be some differentiation otherwise it is all a jumble mumble story right so in ramayan if you go to ramayan there is a particular shloka that tulsidas tells you in manas ramcharita manas daihik daivik bautik tapa ram raj nahi kahu hi vyapa सब नर कर ही परस्पर प्रीति चल ही स्वधर्म निरत श्रुति रीति सो ही सेंग दैट दैहिक दैविक एंड भौतिक ताप ताप मीन्स हीट एंगर फायर इज नॉट देयर इन द अंडर द रूलरशिप ऑफ राम एवरी पर्सन लवस ईच अदर एंड फॉलो देयर ओन धर्मा एज पर वॉट इज टोल्ड इन श्रुति मनुस्मृति पराशर स्मृति एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा Now, what is this daihik, daivik, and bhautik tap, and which indicates what astrologically speaking? So, daihik tap means bodily. Tap means fire, as I have told you, fire, anger, heat, karma, whatever you say. So, daihik means bodily. What is daihik tap? Daihik tap are formed by body that is anger passion greed ego these things are from your own mind the trembling of hands in anger getting my point someone touching a particular body part again and again because of passion 
this is dahik taap this is bodily ailments bodily issues who makes the body in astrology moon makes the body moon decides the body moon talks about the body so dahik taap should be seen through moon essentially what i am telling that whatever placement is from moon horoscope whatever is indicated through moon horoscope those conditions those results are being made by the native himself because of his passion because of his particular attitude way of thinking whatever after daivik taap there is daivik taap daivik taap daiva means god so basically daivik taap should mean what is created by god but rather than god nature is taken right so problems which are created by nature storm flood drought etc now if you know basics of astrology sun is the deva moon is the pitru this is told by parashar itself so from sun ascendant daivik taap is seen whatever is the placement from the sun ascendant those things those events see there is a particular combination from sun ascendant that combination is going to produce a result and that result is being produced because of nature that result is being produced because of the society nature you can say so for that particular reason if there is a particular setup with regard to the 10th house you are going to have that result in your profession because the world today is like this because the society today is like this right and lastly is bhautik taap bhautik means material right bhautik is what is made up of bhuta panch mahabhuta you know agni prithvi vayu jal aakash these panch mahabhuta whatever is caused by animals etc animals other humans etc right one is to anger jealousy that is self made another is because some bacteria have died in water you have drank that water some issues happen some animal have died some intoxicants comes out of his body and because of being in contact with those intoxicants etc some disease etc is produced that is bhautik made up of panchbhutas your body that is made using panchbhutas the mental body you can say the like it's not an appropriate word i cannot say it is soul i cannot say it is physical body physical body is already moon right soul cannot be told it is somewhere in between it is manas right i cannot translate it it is not man it is manas i cannot translate it somehow but okay so this is seen through ascendant right this bhautik taap is seen through ascendant astrologically speaking karma wise speaking someone is getting a particular result because there is a lot of agni in the nature of the person someone is getting a lot of result because there is a lot of jala in the nature of the person should be seen through the ascendant right this i have told you my findings on the method of parashar in nutshell this is a very huge technique once you understand it you can make a whole lot of predictions just based on it. understanding is important that i know you are discerning readers that you will find out now the thing the tripap lagna your life that you are living is a manifestation of all of this there are two approaches see everything separately you see what is daivik taap you see what is dahik taap you see what is bhautik taap it is all okay that you do for understanding of the self or making the native whoever horoscope you are watching making the native understand but in the end the question is sir what will actually happen right so out of these many reference points that parashar himself have mentioned as i have told you in the starting using all three and coming to a conclusion will be <clears throat> challenging 
will be confusing also. So according to my opinion, what I have taken from Parashat, see Parashat does not tell it. This is my interpretation of Parashat or the idea that I get from Parashat. I, this body, this mind, whatever you say. Right. So the concept, my concept is very clear. Listen to it. Count from ascendant to moon. Whatever is the number, count same house from moon. You will reach to a house. You say this house one. Then count from ascendant to sun. This is house number two. Count from ascendant to sun, whatever is the number of house, that should be counted from the position number one. This will lead you to position number two. This is, this Rashi should be made as ascendant. This ascendant will be Tripap Lagna. Right? Or Tritap Lagna. So I will explain it. If there is some problem in understanding what I am telling you, I will explain it. See this also. Now, in this chart, Lagna is Libra. Moon is in 12th house to it. So, go to 12th from Moon, that will be Leo. Now, Sun is in the 5th house from Ascendant in Aquarius. Count 5th from Leo, that will be Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius, according to me, is Tripap Lagna TL. And according to my understanding, this TL, this Sagittarius should be made as ascendant and the horoscope should be read from this TL, Tripap Lagna, right? Tripap Lagna. When this ascendant is used, why to use this ascendant? So that the results are more accurate. The timing of event is easier and with simplicity, better results are achieved. So because the Tripap Lagna is falling into the third house, rather than saying 10th from the ascendant, rather than going by this approach that 10th from the ascendant is having Cancer Rashi that is having the aspect of Venus, right? 10th from Sun is Scorpio Rashi having the placement of K2 aspect of Jupiter and 10th from moon is Gemini Rashi that is all empty but having the fourth aspect of Mars and rather than synchronizing all three simply looking that 10th from Tripap Lagna is moon under the influence of Mars and Mercury in that particular influence Mercury will be most powerful because he will be like debilitated and the, for the purpose of uh, debilitation, it is all okay. From Tripap Lagna, Mars will be in the 4th house, losing his directional strength, will be weak. Moon will be in the 10th house, losing his directional strength, again weak. Mercury will be the most powerful one. So, because Mercury is influencing the 10th house, and Mercury is also the lord of the 10th house, the profession should be related to Mercury, specifically Mercury of Virgo. Using this way, the profession of the native can be easily and accurately predicted. And even those things about native can be known. That cannot be known otherwise. For a particular example, for a simple example, I will tell you. There is someone who is emotional. Now going by the normal ascendant, using the normal setup, you don't think that this, you don't get to know that this person is emotional. Normally speaking, if you meet this person, you will not find that this person is emotional. But once you start living with the person, when you know the real personality, you will know that this person is emotional. Now, looking at the natal horoscope, it will be very different to decide, very difficult to decide why the native is emotional. For this horoscope, I am talking of real horoscope. When For this horoscope, when you calculate Tripap Lagna, you will see Tripap Lagna itself is falling in cancer. Telling you the true nature of the person just through the horoscope, which you cannot otherwise know. So, Lagna is the manifestation of what the person appears to be. How the person comes out. This comes out is another point. Lagna interacts with the world. Right? The real self of the person is Tripap Lagna. So Lagna wise there is a Mars in the 10th house that 
will tell you that this person is working in an engineering field. But from Tripap Lagna, you say there is mercury in the 10th house. So this person is actually working in accountancy, though he is working in an engineering firm, but he is working into accountancy. The real nature of the work is accountancy. This is the uses of Tripap Lagna, which is my first step in decoding what Parashar have tried to convey in Sudarshan Chakra and rebuild the confidence in practitioners, the confidence that Parashar have showed while talking about Sudarshan Chakra, he have confidently told Maitreya that Maitreya, you can forget any, everything that I have told you before. And just follow this new method that I am teaching you, which is more accurate and to the point, whereas at the same point of time, it does not contradict what the sages have told earlier. This is the greatest invention of Parashar. And it have lost its truth. This I am teaching in my forthcoming Sudarshan Chakra books. 2023 edition, two day webinar that I am going to do in February. Right? We will learn Tripap Lagna and many other such researches in detail with the objective of reading horoscope with more confidence, uses of less techniques, getting more accurate results, and Sudarshan Chakra which is popular for timing. So we'll cover timing also. One day analysis of horoscope, easier but more accurate. And second day, timing of events up to months is what I'm going to do in the course. If you are seriously interested in learning astrology, then you should take a serious step of joining a serious course, right?